showing you my wife. She's on this, um, what do you call it, love? Inversion table. It's an inversion table. Where'd you get it? Um, my mom gave it to me. Okay, and she's going to show us what she does on it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Ta-da! <sighs> So, what does it feel like? It feels so good. It feels good? Yep. Stretches out the spine, elongates the spine, stretches the hip, flexors. My shoulders are all dangling about. Feels really good, it's nice. Does it feel like all your head is going to your forehead, like your blood? Yeah. It's going to your forehead? Yeah. It's kind of nice too when I want to, when I feel like my circulation is subpar. Kind of helps a little bit. I don't know if it's supposed to. It just feels like it does. So for people that can't do something like this, it's, it's a nice feeling? Yeah, it's a, wonderful. It's good for the back. If you hold all your tension in your back, it's good just to stretch things out a bit. That's lovely. It is. It's so nice. You look lovely. Thank you, lovely. <laughs> I should try singing a song upside down. <laughs> All right, everybody. All right. Thank you, honey, for demonstrating. Thumbs up. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, let's see how you flip up. For everyone so they can see. And what does Adam think of this? Adam doesn't like it. He runs away when he sees me on here. Ooh, vertigo. I got up too quick. <laughs> it's not recommended. <laughs> I'm sorry, lovey. It's okay. You all right? I'm good. Okay. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. So this is where the feet go. You rest your feet right there on the foot rest. And then you adjust to your height, I think. You adjust it so you're aligned on there appropriately. And you get on there. So now I'm standing on it. You get your feet in there and then you close this. And it just closes. Make it as tight as it'll go without, you know, don't hurt yourself. About like that. And then to open it, you push on it. And there it goes. And you just lean back. There we go. Haley found a nice beautiful park for us today it's actually an, a warm sunny day in november and we just wanted to get out of the house we went and see a we went and saw a giant christmas tree nearby where we live up on a hill and then we drove on over to the park to get adam a walk and everything he loves it it's got it's got a huge i mean trail not huge it's about a little over a mile trail system that's paved, perfectly paved for Haley. The only thing bumpy was the bridge, the wooden bridge. It was a nice bridge, but it was bumpy. I love a good bridge. So as far as your bridgeometer goes. I'd give it a six. Yeah. Just because it was a good bridge <coughs> as far as the getting on and off of it, but the bridge itself, was bumpy. It was cute and naturey, uh -huh. but it was definitely bumpy. And <coughs> I just happened to find this park on maps on my phone, and I just led Angie the way and just said, "Hey, we're just gonna do a test and see how this bridge or how this bridge, how this park was." And it turns out. Neither Ange or I had ever been here before. Yeah, I didn't know this was here. And um, so it was a good 
good day. And <coughs> we saw a big, big Christmas tree. It wasn't lit up because it's still light out. But it would be a wonder to see it when it's lit. Up close like that. Yeah, because I love a good lit up. I love a good lit up tree or house. And that one's really tall too. It's big. So as I was saying, I love a good lit up tree. And so it was a bummer that it wasn't lit up yet, but at least I got to see the tree up close. And it's large. She's large and in charge, but not as tall as the tree in Rockefeller Center in New York City, which I have seen in person. I bet that's just massive. It is. Beautiful. Because this tree is pretty big. Yeah. It makes you go, wow. It I, makes the building that it's in front of look really fancy. It is a fancy building. But yeah. It just kind of adds to the aesthetic a little bit. But we're not going to say where. Mm -mm. For safety reasons. But um, I'm just happy to be outside in November with the sun out. Yeah, and it's not too, it's not cold. Well, it's not hot. It's a, it's not too cold. Like if yeah. we stayed out here for a while, we'd probably get cold. Yeah. But. And so it's just nice to be outside. I haven't been outside like for a long period of time since we were in Washington. So. Nice. We're not gonna show where we're at too much, right? Nope, just the nature. It's so pretty. Adam loves it. He loves to sniff and smell all this, the scents. Excuse me, sir, you're in the handicap spot. Mm. He says, I'm saving it for my mommy. Yeah, it's that's reserved. What he do. It's reserved. <laughs> so these are my new glasses. I just wanted to show everybody. I like them. I'm still adjusting to them because they are a new prescription. So I just got to adjust and get used to them. But so far I've had them on since I woke up. And I like them. And I got them on zennyoptical.com. They're great and they have great prices. Just wanted to show you guys. Bye. All right, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage that you just saw. That was a fun day at the park, yeah? It was so good. It was so just refreshing to be out and it wasn't that cold. And I felt proud that I discovered a new place for us. Yeah, that was pretty cool. We didn't really plan on going anywhere. Uh-uh. But out of the spur of the moment, I said, let's go out and see the big Christmas tree and just get out of the house. People are going to want to see this tree that we're talking about. It's actually turn, turns out it's, I mean, it's huge. But they only put lights on it. They don't really... Go all out they and don't decorate, decorate it. Decorate it, but I'm sure it's a lot just to put the lights up. Yeah. And so you had your surgery a week from today. I did. How are you feeling? I feel great today. I feel good. No more cramps, no more fatigue. Well, I'm still a little bit fatigued as always, but um, this, as far as recovery goes, I'm feeling a lot better. And it was nothing serious. It was nothing serious. Thank goodness. The cramping lasted a couple days. So what I had done was, um, I've been suffering from dysmenorrhea for a long time. And it was getting so bad that I couldn't even exercise or do anything throughout the day without getting extremely tired and fatigued. And it was because I was losing a lot of, losing a lot of blood and a lot of the iron. Um, so, and that was caused by, they discovered fibroids. I had fibroids in my uterus. And so that was the procedure I had last week is to remove the fibroids. And 
Yeah, so hopefully things are better from here on out. Yes, I hope for your sake too. And I can get back to exercising without feeling winded. And So, um, other than that, we're just decor, you know, we're getting last minute things for Christmas and wrapping <laughs> gifts and I can't wait for Christmas. I know. Christmas is always exciting. Yes. I've been watching a lot of Christmas movies. I know, cheesy. Um, I'm usually not into the cheesy ones, but I've been watching some cheesy ones this year. I don't know what's different about this year, but I've just been into it lately. And we watched a few with your mom. We a did. couple with your mom. A couple. So that was nice. There's going to be a new lesbian Christmas movie on Lifetime on December, December 19th. 19th. It's one of the, you know, the cheesy cookie cutter, you know, Hallmarky type, you know, really cheesy AF Christmas movies, but it's about a lesbian romance, which I'm so excited about. And yeah. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait either. I'll, I'll watch that one with you. For once, we're represented in these stupid, stupid, cheesy movies. <laughs> we'll see how well they do with it. Hopefully it's really good. Ricky Lake's in it, so it should be pretty good. And it's called Under the Christmas Tree, everybody. Under the Christmas Tree, yes. On Lifetime. Yes. And let's see what else. I can't wait to watch. I was so excited when I saw that. I said, Me too. Cheesy Christmas movie about lesbians. <laughs> yes. Yes. How, how did you like the new Home Alone movie? I like it for what it is. It's definitely not Home Alone as we know it, but as a, for what it is, I really like it. They did well with it, and they paid homage to the originals with, with certain, you know, elements in it. Um, and you can find that on Disney Plus. Disney Plus, the new Home Alone. What is it called? Holiday Heist. Home Alone Holiday Heist. Anyway, it's the new Home Alone, and it's good. It's cute. It's definitely for kids, but it's really cute. And um, Buzz is in it. The real actor who plays Buzz also plays Buzz in this one. Does he look like Buzz? Yeah. He's very buzzish. He plays a police officer. And he meant Kevin's not in the movie, but he mentions Kevin. Oh, Kevin did that again. Or <laughs> something. It's really cute. I recommend it if you're in for a fun, kiddish Christmas movie. Yeah. Oh, the music is great, too. Like the other spin off Home Alone movies, the standalone Home Alone movies, like the music isn't the same. This music in this one, it pays homage to the, it's more similar to the music in the first Home Alone 1 and 2. I thought that was pretty exciting. So. Oh, and I got my new glasses. I like them. Can we get a little closer up They're very, of them? They're very um, just basic and simple, but they look good. Yes. See how they're shiny and metallic? They're your favorite color, rose gold. Yes. So I already showed them them earlier in the video, but here's a little better view of it. Look at that close-up, yes. I want a pair just like them because they're just so simple and but a different color, of course. It looks like I paid a million bucks for them, but I didn't. Right? On Zenny. Zennyoptical.com. Not sponsored. <laughs> Not sponsored. But we could be. But we could be. Look at that Christmas tree. Isn't it great? It's Gorgina. Gorgina. All right, everyone. We hope you have a good week, and we'll see you soon. We'll be live hopefully this Friday. Hopefully, yes. Friday the 3rd of December. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Advent. Happy Advent. Happy beginning of December. Yes. Peace, Peace and, love. and love. Bye. Bye.